we've had the most amazing year with our red bill chuff reintroduction. We have seen the species return after an absence of 200 years. Um, to see the species not only survive, but actually thrive. The Kent reintroduction is the first in a series of reintroductions to restore the species across the south coast of England. Behind me is, is part of the reason why we're doing this project. We're standing on the, the chalk cliffs here. Um, this chalk grass and habitat is habitat that was once home to chuff. They're, they're flying over our heads at the moment. Chuff were driven out of this area through, through persecution and loss of habitat. But the work that Kent Wildlife Trust and others, the National Trust, White Cliffs Countryside Partnership and many others involved in this project have done over the last 40 years has taken us to the point where this habitat is restored sufficiently for us to actually begin to think about putting these birds back out. And then in turn, those birds will lead the next 30, 40 years of, of kind of emphasis on this project. So they're what we call a flagship species. You know, they stand for all of this work that we've done and they're the figureheads for the work going forward. This year, we had our first nesting attempt in the wild, which is amazing. It is really early on for this project because these birds are still sort of like teenage years really for them. So it was great that they actually got to the stage of having a chick. Moving forward, we're hoping that next year, the fact we've got more males in the group, the birds will be slightly older, we'll have more pairs to monitor, more work for us. <laughs> um, and we'll no doubt be asking for help from the public to be keeping an eye out on and looking for those birds. Um, but it means that those numbers will just keep on increasing, which is great. So we have another three or so years of looking at releasing the birds that we've captive reared. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to stop at that point because the birds in the wild will be doing their own thing and taking over, which is really great. It's a bit amazing to be a part of it, actually. Um, we've, we've tried to sort of do little release projects or kind of building up to it for so long and to actually see them out in the wild now is that final little bit. So just to add to those ones in the wild is just amazing. It's an awesome feeling seeing the chicks that you've reared and looked after out flying around. To sit and see that initial release and to watch them look like they've never not been here yeah, it was, it was emotional. We've got such expertise on the team and that's really paying dividends. If ever you get the chance to go to Dover and see the birds, we've got 19 flying over the White Cliffs at the moment and it's just incredible. 200 year absence and the back.